We've got really established, great comedic talent, and then we've got a whole slew of up and coming uh, talent that people will discover for the first time. Charles Kim, I pretty much just saw his audition tape and just sight unseen. I was like, this guy's in the movie. I grew up as a Korean American here in you know, Los Angeles and I was always faced with this predicament of why does my Korean family do things this way? If you don't get married by the time you're 30, mm. you're dead! You know, I got to uh, basically channel all the wacky characters in my family in playing Uncle Tay. You look like a handsome prince, huh? No. When doves cry. Nancy Lee, I had seen her in sketch comedy shows uh, years before. So many people. <laughs> She saw me do this uh, Ajima character. <laughs> we happened to just uh, run into each other in the production office. Out comes Christine, and I'm like, Christine, what are you doing here? And she's like, what are you doing here? This is my film. And as soon as I saw her, I was like, get this girl into the movie right now. I just like led her directly to the casting office. I was like, oh, is this how Hollywood works? Show up for an audition that I don't have an appointment for, there is no role for me, and then I'm in a film. I'm like, this is amazing. I love Hollywood. Joy Osmansky, she just nailed it. What can Teddy do to make you eat? I want Jason back. I think the trick with playing a character like that is you have to make her very human. Um, but she's an extreme. Will you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? I haven't eaten in two weeks. She doesn't think too much before she speaks, which is actually such a joy to play as an actor because you're unedited completely. Joy kind of has this like lovable energy, very charming energy as a person, and I think she brought this really surprising element to her character, which I really loved. Jean Yoon plays my mother, and she killed it. Don't forget, comb your hair very nice, okay? She just had these mannerisms that like literally my own Korean mom has. You think I am in love with your daddy when we get married? Oh, no. no. Mommy and daddy That's fall right. in love after. I really, really feel that audiences should come out to, to see her and her performance because it is just, it is so authentic and so dead on funny. Well, my name is Kelvin Han Yi. I play a character called the Wheeler Dealer Uncle. At least I'm not gonna have to support another brother. Every family has an, a, an uncle like this. He's kind of a tough guy. He dresses flashy and he, you know, he, he wears big rings on his fingers and things like that. Kelvin had auditioned for my casting director. And then I had gone to a party and I saw Kelvin at the party and he said, hey, you know, I came in audition for your movie and this and that and you really need to give me another shot and I need to be in this film. June's performance as, as the grandma, she's older, but she's still got it. She's still sharp. And she can still deliver a mean slap. When I showed up on the first day of shooting, I felt so different than going to deliver a couple lines on a sitcom. You don't know most important part of our family history? This was a part. I wasn't there to just say, can I get you some coffee? <laughs> Music in this film is unique. It brings together traditional Korean music, uh, popular Western music, and fuses it together in a, a way that's never been done before. Uh, the music we brought from Korea incorporated a lot of traditional instruments set in more of a maybe sort of westernized context, pop context. Can you believe? We discovered some artists in Korea as well, the Peppertones. Uh, that was a wonderful discovery. It's hard to kind of classify what their music is other than very unique and very uh, smart, I would call it. Jason! Naya! Another great singer is Kim Johan. He, he's an R&B singer and he's, he's really made a, a successful career for himself in Korea. As post-production came into play, I had the wonderful opportunity to collaborate with David Benoit, Grammy-nominated jazz pianist and composer. We collaborated on a number of pieces. 
Another major theme uh, was one of the songs uh, called I Believe by the Fantasy Twins. Working with Kang Hye Jung was really, really wonderful. Not only is she an award-winning actress, this being her first English spoken film, I was really impressed with how well she spoke English. And then bringing her into the studio to sing songs in the film was a real revelation because she showed a tremendous ability as a singer. I think you'll be really wonderfully surprised at hearing her throughout the film. She might have another career as a singer.